Every time the Salesforce release notes are published, I jump straight to the Salesforce flow section. Why? Well, that's because there's always so much great content that will make the lives of Salesforce admins so much easier. The Summer 24 update introduced some wonderful new features, as well as the usual quality of life improvements that come with each release. There's also been some brilliant flow updates as well, which is why for the first time, we'll be highlighting our top new flow features on the Salesforce Ben YouTube channel. Let's get into it. Coming in hot at number one, we have the new flow creation wizard and new flow types. Creating a flow looks different than it ever has before. The first step you're presented with simply offers you the ability to create your own flow from scratch or to select from a series of templates. And those templates are grouped similarly to previous releases. With the release of Summer 24, there are now more flow types available than ever before. We see the standard screen flows, auto launch flows and triggered flows as we previously have, but this release drops new flow types. Flow is becoming more and more powerful with each release and Summer 24 begins to show that it is leading more into the title of Jack of all trades. Flow does what it always does, but now we're seeing Salesforce turn it into a specialist tool for specific functions. Neat. Next, we have unlimited pause flows. You can now have as many paused and waiting flow interviews as you need. Previously, there were per org limitations of 30,000 for Essentials and Professional Edition and 50,000 for Enterprise, Unlimited, Performance and Developer Editions. So this update unlocks a whole host of opportunities. Before we go any further, I'd like to say a big thank you to this video's sponsor, Pipe Launch. Have you struggled to get your users to adopt Salesforce? Are they complaining about lack of data and no real reason to log in every day? Pipe Launch enriches your data, connects to LinkedIn, and provides automatic insights about each company in your org. Try it out with a free trial at salesforceben.com forward slash data. Number three, action buttons in flow. We were all pleasantly surprised to see Adam White's announcement of the new action buttons in flow recently and the LinkedIn live demonstration shortly after. But now in summer 24, we're all able to get our hands on and try it out for ourselves. Action buttons are gonna empower so many people to make it easier to use screen flows for their business. If you'd like to see action buttons in, well, action, then check out the link in this video's description. At number four, I'm pleased to announce that the flow repeater component is now generally available. Additionally, it now supports conditional visibility just like tabs in dynamic forms. Are we lucky? <laughs> Number five, create records element major upgrades. We're halfway through the list now, and number five is an existing feature that's been given some extra love in this release. The create element has received some major enhancements in Summer 24, namely the ability to match existing records and avoid creating a duplicate record and automatic mapping of required fields. When building a create element, you'll select the object and then have the ability to map from a record variable or manually. When selecting the manual option, any required fields will be highlighted and automatically added to the properties pane. As you can see here is the new check for matching records segment. Instead of creating a duplicate record just because the flow is being told to do so, you're now able to tell it to find matching records and then what to do if it does find those records. For example, you can update an existing record as opposed to creating a duplicate. I guess this means we now technically have an upset record element. Very cool. Next on the list is another feature that's been made generally available, the transform element. Transform was initially released in winter 24 and has become a beloved core feature of the flow builder tool. Summer 24 brings minor enhancements and guidelines to the transform element and makes it generally available for everyone. Number seven is a small but mighty update. Email threading is natively supported in the send email action in Summer 24. Threading allows emails on the same topic to be linked together, similar to how case replies get related directly to individual case records. There are a series of screen elements that now support the ability to be set to read only or disabled states in Summer 24. In the example on the screen, you can see I've set both read only and disabled to false. Additionally, you can use other booleans throughout the flow or create a formula to update this as you go. You can set the following components to be read only or disabled, text or long text area, date or date time, number, currency, password, 
or address. I know this feature will help me out. Our penultimate feature on this list is the new lock record flow action. If you ever need to manually lock or unlock records, you can do so in Flow in Summer 24. Simply drag the new lock record action onto the canvas and declare whether you want to lock or unlock in the action field, the specific record ID that you'd like to lock or unlock, and identify any users, groups, or queues that you'd like to be exempt from the lock. Finally, at number 10, the address component has been completely revamped in Summer 24. Firstly, you're able to set different states on the address element now. Similar to the read-only and disabled states for other fields, you can now choose to set the address to either required or disabled. This also supports reactive components, so it can be set on the go. Additionally, the address now supports Google Maps integration. When configuring the address component, ensure you enable Google Maps search functionality to see the search bar. Bonus, new automation app. Oh, you thought we were done? No chance. I couldn't end this video without talking about the shiny brand new automation app. Now users who have access can see flows, errors, and other community-based links from within the main Salesforce application. This is the first time we've seen something like this outside of the setup menu. I find it quite interesting that Salesforce is exposing flow within the main app in addition to setup. Previously, we've only seen automation owned by admins, I wonder if this points to a future where users will be able to configure their own personal or team-based flows. Notably, in the Summer 24 release, the automation app allows you to search for flows, share flows with users in Salesforce, and configure your own list views for additional sorting and filtration options. Summer 24 includes a symphony of substantial enhancements to our favorite tool, Salesforce Flow. Once again, there's a nice ratio of minor enhancements and quality improvements to the more impactful new features and functionality. These new features are bound to make your job as an admin, developer, or business user much easier and streamlined once they've been implemented throughout your org. For more information, be sure to check out our full post on Salesforce Ben, linked in the description below.